Leviticus 17 Then Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and to his sons, and to all the sons of Israel, and say to them, This is what Yahweh has commanded, saying, Any man from the house of Israel who slaughters an ox, or a lamb, or a goat in the camp, or who slaughters it outside the camp, and has not brought it to the doorway of the tent of meeting, to bring it near as an offering to Yahweh before the tabernacle of Yahweh, it will be counted as blood guiltiness to that man. He has shed blood, and that man shall be cut off from among his people. The reason is so that the sons of Israel may bring their sacrifices, which they were sacrificing in the open field, that they may bring them in to Yahweh at the doorway of the tent of meeting to the priest, and sacrifice them as sacrifices of peace offerings to Yahweh. And the priest shall splash the blood on the altar of Yahweh at the doorway of the tent of meeting, and offer up the fat in smoke as a soothing aroma to Yahweh. And they shall no longer sacrifice their sacrifices to the goat demons with which they play the harlot. This shall be a perpetual statute to them throughout their generations. Then you shall say to them, Any man from the house of Israel, or from the sojourners who sojourn among them, who offers a burnt offering or sacrifice, and does not bring it to the doorway of the tent of meeting to offer it to Yahweh, that man also shall be cut off from his people. And any man from the house of Israel, or from the sojourners who sojourn among them, who eats any blood, I will set my face against that person who eats blood, and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you on the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement by the life. Therefore I said to the sons of Israel, no person among you may eat blood, and no sojourner who sojourns among you may eat blood. So any man from the sons of Israel, or from the sojourners who sojourn among them, who in hunting catches a beast or a bird which may be eaten, shall pour out its blood and cover it with earth. For as for the life of all flesh, its blood is identified with its life. Therefore I said to the sons of Israel, You are not to eat the blood of any flesh. For the life of all flesh is its blood. Whoever eats it shall be cut off. And when any person eats an animal which dies or is torn by beasts, whether he is a native or a sojourner, he shall wash his clothes and bathe in water and remain unclean until evening. Then he will become clean. But if he does not wash them or bathe his body, then he shall bear his guilt. Psalm 20 for the choir director, a psalm of David. May Yahweh answer you in the day of distress. May the name of the God of Jacob set you securely on high. May he send you help from the sanctuary and uphold you from Zion. May he remember all your meal offerings and find your burnt offering acceptable. Selah. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your counsel. We will sing for joy over your salvation. And in the name of our God we will set up our banners. May Yahweh fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that Yahweh saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. Some boast in chariots and some in horses, but we will boast in the name of Yahweh our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stood upright. Save, O Yahweh! May the King answer us in the day we call. Psalm 21 For the choir director, a psalm of David. O Yahweh, in your strength the King will be glad, and in your salvation how greatly he will rejoice. You have given him his heart's desire, and you have not withheld the request of his lips. Selah. For you meet him with the blessings of good things. You set a crown of fine gold on his head. He asked life of you, you gave it to him, length of days forever and ever. His glory is great through your salvation, splendor and majesty you bestow upon him, for you make him most blessed forever, you make him joyful with gladness in your presence. For the king trusts in Yahweh, and through the loving kindness of the Most High he will not be shaken. Your hand will find out all your enemies, your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will make them as a fiery oven in the time of your anger. Yahweh will swallow them up in his wrath, and fire will devour them. Their offspring you will destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the sons of men. 
Though they intended evil against you and devised a scheme, they will not succeed. For you will make them turn their back. You will aim with your bowstrings at their faces. Be exalted, O Yahweh, in your strength. We will sing and praise your might. Proverbs 31 The words of King Lemuel, the oracle unto which his mother disciplined him. What, O my son? And what, O son of my womb? And what, O son of my vows? Do not give your excellence to women, or your ways to that which blots out kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, or for rulers to desire strong drink, lest he drink and forget what is decreed and pervert the justice of all the afflicted. Give strong drink to him who is perishing, and wine to those whose soul is bitter. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and he will not remember his trouble any longer. Open your mouth for the mute, for the justice of all those passing away. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and render justice to the afflicted and needy. Aleph, an excellent wife, who can find for her worth is far above pearls. Bait. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. Gimel. She deals bountifully with him for good and not evil all the days of her life. Dalit. She searches for wool and flax, and works with her hands in delight. Hay. She is like merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. Fav. And she rises while it is still night, and gives food to her household, and a portion to her young women. Zion. She makes plans for a field, and buys it. From the fruit of her hands she plants a vineyard. Hate. She girds herself with strength, and makes her arms strong. Teth. She senses that her grain is good. Her lamp does not go out at night. Yod. She stretches out her hands to the distaff, and her hands hold fast the spindle. Kaf. She extends her hand to the poor, and she stretches out her hands to the needy. Lamed. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. Mem. She makes coverings for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Noon. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits with the elders of the land. Samak. She makes linen garments and sells them and gives belts to the tradesmen. Ayan. Strength and majesty are her clothing and she smiles at the future. Pei. She opens her mouth in wisdom and the instruction of loving kindness is on her tongue. Sade. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Kof. Her children rise up and bless her. As for her husband, he also praises her, saying, Resh, many daughters have done excellently, but you have gone above them all. Shin, charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears Yahweh, she shall be praised. Tav, give to her from the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates. 1 Timothy 2. First of all, then, I exhort that petitions and prayers, requests and thanksgivings be made for all men, for kings and all who are in authority, so that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. This is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the full knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator also between God and men the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, the witness for this proper time. For this I was appointed a preacher and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, as a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. Therefore I want the men in every place to pray, lifting up holy hands without wrath and dissension. Likewise I want women to adorn themselves with proper clothing, with modesty and self-restraint not with braided hair and gold or pearls or costly clothing, but rather by means of good works, as is proper for women professing godliness. A woman must learn in quietness, in all submission. But I do not allow a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man, but to remain quiet. 
For it was Adam who was first formed, and then Eve. And it was not Adam who was deceived, but the woman being deceived fell into trespass. But she will be saved through the bearing of children, if they continue in faith and love and sanctification with self-restraint.